What's up guys, got an unboxing video of the 2011 refresh of the iPod Touch. So as you can tell this is the white model and there are absolutely no differences from this one and the old version. Um, so on the side of the packaging we have iPod Touch and you can see how thin the device is. Um, on the top we have an Apple logo and on the bottom it just displays the serial number and um, all the other information. So basically you just pull this little sticker over here on the top of the device and that just holds the whole packaging together. So once you have that off, um, just um, pop the outer top of it and it just opens up like a clamshell. Um, so in the packaging we have some documents, um, some finger tips which just shows you how to use the device, some Apple stickers and some other information. So it does include the Apple earbuds and the 30 pin to USB cable. Um, so, like I was saying, there are no differences from this one and the last uh, model. Only difference is the color. So, I really suggest just staying with your um, old iPod if you do have the fourth generation. Because unless you really like the white version, it's just kind of a waste of money. Um, so, once you have your iPod Touch out, you just kind of have to peel away at these stickers on the back. That's just containing the iPod Touch. Kind of hard to get off, but I'm pretty sure you know you could do it. Um, so... Once you have that plastic case off, peel away these uh, this little sticker that's on the face of the iPod Touch, and there you go. The iPod Touch is ready um, to go. <clears throat> so you can see it looks very nice. It still has the same front-facing camera as last year's, which you can video chat um, and FaceTime with, and the back camera can still um, record in 720p. So pretty decent camera, not too bad. Um, and the Retina display still the same. Um, unfortunately, it did not get the IPS update that the iPhone 4 and 4S has. So basically, when you see I, I turn it on the side, um, it does have a bluish tint. So I don't think it's really a big deal. But if you really need the IPS display, go for the iPhone. Um, so that's basically it, you guys. Just going to show you one more time around the device. Um, it's really, really nice, clean cut design, and it looks very nice. Um, so thanks for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it. Make sure you do like this comment, or excuse me, like this video, leave a comment, and um, subscribe as always. So, thanks for watching. Later.